hey guys, how's it going? I'm here with my special guest today. We're in the garden, so apologies if the bird noises are too loud. So if you don't know, I'm Mari. <laughs> I'm Nick. I'm from the US. And I'm from New Zealand. We live in New Zealand now. We live in Christchurch. We asked you guys to ask us some questions, things you want to know, and we're going to answer them. A lot of questions. A lot of questions, mm -hmm. but I've written down a select amount in our trusty notepad here. So. If you could live in some other country besides the US or New Zealand, where would you live? Maybe Thailand. I always think that's where I, I'd yeah. go. Chiang Mai, like all the other travel bloggers. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be real cool. I love Thailand, so I'd love to live there. But I'd also live in Canada or England or um, so many places. Do you ever get sick of each other in the it? van? <laughs> I get it. Everybody gets sick of each other at some stage, I'm sure. If you spend a lot of time together. So, yeah, even now and then. But we're all good most of the time. Yeah. Why Christchurch, Mary? Why Christchurch? <laughs> It's my fault. <laughs> okay. So Nick got a job here, so that's why we moved to Christchurch. But it's the biggest city in the South Island. You have access to the oceans, beaches, also the mountains, the Southern Alps. There's a lot of things to do from Christchurch. And the city itself, I think, is like really walkable. With the rebuild from the earthquake, there's more and more stuff, so that's cool. And yeah, <laughs> that's why. Yeah. How do you afford to travel all the time? <laughs> uh, I don't. Whenever I did travel, I basically live places. So then I didn't have to save up as much, I'd just work. Also, studied abroad, so it just means you can like, live in a place and then you can do little trips and it doesn't take such a big lot of savings to do it. Nick's lived in seven countries, I think. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Yeah, otherwise just work hard, save money. Don't spend a lot. <laughs> Any plans of hiking the TA Adaroa? No plans at the moment, but I'd definitely be interested in doing it. Same. If you don't know what it is, it's a trail that goes all the way from the top of New Zealand to the bottom of New Zealand across both islands. So it would be awesome. It'd be epic. Yeah, it'd be really cool. One day, that'd be cool. Would you move to a smaller town in New Zealand? Yeah, I would. There's some cool small towns around New Zealand. They're all slightly different. Yeah, Definitely. It. It's just getting the job's the job, hard part. The job part is the hard part. Yeah. If you had to live in a single location and not travel, where would you choose and why? If I never could travel again, I might say like New York City because you could never get bored and there's always something new and different and it changes so much that like, yeah, you'll just never get bored. I'd miss greenery and hiking, but you know, the parks are pretty good, so hey. What plans does the future hold? Ooh. Oh, there's some, a lot of wood pigeons. Get a do. The future holds some exciting plans. Most of it's just around hiking. Yeah, so we've got a couple of cool trails in New Zealand that we want to do yeah. in the next few months. Yep. It's kind of leading into something bigger. Yeah. Do you want to explain, Mary? I haven't been telling you just because I don't know. I didn't want to like jinx it or something. Yeah. We still don't know for sure 100%. However, what we really, really want to do next year is the PCT. Mm -hmm. Some of you have guessed that, so good job you. <laughs> if you don't know what it is, it's the Pacific Crest Trail. It goes from the Mexican border to the Canadian border all up the US. It takes anywhere from like four to six months to complete. It's 2,600 miles. It'd be pretty epic. Um, we would do it starting in April next year. We have to really figure it out very soon, actually. Sweet. And you have to, there's a lot of planning involved going into it. So that would be like the next big thing that we're doing. After that, I would like to do some more travel outside of the US and New Zealand, but one thing at a time, you know? Yeah. How did you two meet? Well, we met actually hiking. Originally, I just came to New Zealand to travel and I had a friend recommend me the Milford Track. It's a, one of the great walks here and she did it with this company, Ultimate Hikes. I was like, yeah, it looks awesome. I also couldn't afford it at the time. <laughs> I just pointed to the video, sorry. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, you can watch the video actually where we met. Anyway, I couldn't quite afford it at the time, but I was like, hey, do you guys want a video? I'll make a video if you let me go on, because it's really expensive. And they said yes, which is awesome. And Nick happened to be on it also, but he was working for that company and he had gotten a free one. 
just because he worked for the company. Two um, cheapskates. Yeah, he was like a guide on another trail. So, yeah, anyway, we were like the only, the only people kind of like around our same age. We kind of just like hung out during the trip. And then there's also a family on the trip that was like trying to set us up the whole time. <laughs> and they made it like a funny joke. Like at dinner, if there was an empty seat next to Nick, they'd be like, Murray, like over here, over here. And they'd like make me sit next to him. And we were just like friends at first. And then we hung out afterwards because like Nick's job had ended, like the contract ended because the season was over. And then I was just traveling around. So we ended up going on some road trips together. And then now it's two and a half years later. <laughs> What's the one New Zealand food you can't live without? Uh, I really like kiwi. It's kind of like chicken. You have a, we have kiwi burgers over here. Just delicious. <laughs> we don't eat kiwi over here. Um, Not humans or birds, but you do eat the fruit. No. Oh, you yeah, do eat the fruit. The kiwi but fruit. There's another really good fruit that hasn't really. It's, uh, I don't think it's from New Zealand, yeah. but. New Zealanders love it. It's called the Fajella. Mm. Mm, man, it's so good. It's so good. That's a good one. That's mm. a good answer. Yeah, Fajellas. How do you see yourself in 10 years? Uh, yeah, I basically see myself happy. My goal is to like be my own boss, so hopefully I will be doing something awesome and making a living from it. Yeah, happy. healthy, happy, and well-traveled. Cool. Good answer. Huh. Okay. That was a bellbird singing to us. Thank the you. Korimako. Oh, you're learning things. How much advanced planning do you do before a trip? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Well, it depends what's going on and where we're going. My planning is buying a ticket to somewhere and then seeing what happens. But PCT next year, I ain't going to get away with that. No, nah, that'll so take a lot of planning. I need a lot of planning. I don't always do a lot of planning either. If we go on like a weekend trip, usually we just plan on like a destination and then we just figure it out as we go along because I think that's fun just to be spontaneous and do whatever you want in the moment. I like that. But yeah, some things obviously require a lot more work. What's your favorite native New Zealand animal? I feel like I have to go with a kiwi. Yeah, it would probably be that. Maybe Tuatara, that would be my Tuatara second one. Awesome. Tuatara is really so cool. So the oldest lizard in the world. They've been around for a long time. Where do we see those? Tuatara Matangi. You can see that video here. <laughs> You'll stop Nick's, doing my, that Nick's my promo guy. I am. This is like a three part question. I want to know if you guys are vegetarian. That's first. Okay. No. That's no. the short answer. But we 95% yeah. vegetarian. I'm but. more, even more so than Nick. I used to be vegetarian completely. Oh no, I always ate seafood, so that's kind of a lie. Yeah. We don't like buy meat to cook at home. No, yeah. It's not mostly, most of the time, just veggies. Mm. What are your food inspirations? We get a oh. veggie box once a week, and it's organic and it's local and it's good produce. Um, and so that's our inspiration is like whatever's in there, turn yeah. it into something. Quite often it's a stir fry. Veggies. veggies. Inspiration. And then third part, if you were in Wellington for a day, where would you go for coffee? Nick goes to Wellington a lot for work, so he has a good answer for Which this. Which is good. Wellington's a cool city. Mm. And I would recommend a place called The Hangar. And does yeah. flight coffee, and it's delicious. Yeah. Did having to apply for a partner vi partnership visa put any added pressure on your relationship? And how did you deal with that? Yeah, I think it did add pressure on the relationship, just me being from a different country. If we were to have met and we were both living in the same place, from the same place, like, it would have been so much easier and you can just, like, focus on the relationship. This was, like, we did have to do advanced planning and then getting all the documents for the visa and you have to, like, prove that you're in a relationship and you have to, like, pull up old text messages. It's all kind of stressful, yeah, so it is a little, it was a little hard. No but the way we dealt with it is just kind of, I don't know, talking through it, working it out. I'm try a good not listener. to try not to get stressed out. Nick's really good at like not stressing out about things. I'm really good at stressing it, so he helps me not stress out. About being mindful, people. Yeah, mindfulness. <laughs> oh wait, there's one more part of that question, but uh, it's for you. Oh, this is also, what does Nick do for a job? I'm a statistical analyst, so yeah, it's not as boring as it sounds. This was but it crunching is, numbers yeah. or something, crunching, crunching people. You do like coding though and stuff. Yeah, right? I do a lot of programming, developing programming, stuff. So. Developing. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty fun. He likes it. Yeah. <laughs>
are only going to New Zealand for two weeks. What are the top three places I must go? Oh. I love hiking in the outdoors. Okay. If you're only two weeks in New Zealand, I would just stick to the South Island. I'd choose one island. North Island or the South Island. I'd go to Mount Cook. Yeah. Maybe Abel Tasman for some awesome yep. beaches. Uh, and then, I don't know, maybe Milford. Milford Sounds. Sound. I yeah. think that's a good, those are good three different. Totally different. Totally like, different, mm. but you'll see a lot. And then hit up a few other places along the way as yeah, you're traveling yeah. and you'll be good to go. Especially because yeah. you said you love hiking in the outdoors. So I feel like yeah. South Island might be a little better. Yeah. Nick's also biased because he's from the South Island. Completely biased. <laughs> North Island's cool though. How is living in New Zealand compared to living in the US? On a day-to-day -day basis, I feel like it's pretty similar. The US is also just such a big, diverse country with so many different things that probably depends where in the US I'm comparing it to. Less people, more sheep. <laughs> just little things that you notice like you don't tip here. <laughs> it's true. And like tax and stuff is already fit into the cost. Yeah, everyone's Those got are... a sexy accent. <laughs> the healthcare is much better here, I'll tell you that much. Even if you're just visiting, if you got into an accident and you need to go to the emergency room or take an ambulance, it's all free. We got you back, man. Like you don't have to pay anything. Like, that's amazing. So America's Way just bigger. yeah, bigger, a lot more people, a lot more diversity. There's a lot of different stuff going on, but um, it's not too different. No, I think it's pretty similar. Where did Nick get his shark shirt? Etc. Etc. Et <laughs> I just get my stuff online. I got this cool jersey of all the like, sharks on it from that around from New Zealand. It's from this Christchurch company called Tumbleweed. And when you buy one of the tops, they give money to conservation. So it's Ooh, like win-win. Cool. So those guys are cool. And I think my shark t-shirt was from like another New Zealand company. I think it's called Crate. Great. I'm trying to convince Nick to um, design his own t-shirts that I can sell it's to my you guys. <laughs> okay. Anyway, maybe look out for that in the future. Any advice for someone traveling alone in NZ? Making friends, activities, etc. Yeah, so when I first came here, I was traveling alone. I stayed at hostels and I took the intercity buses um, everywhere. I didn't get a car or anything. And I think those are really good ways to meet people. So staying in hostels in general, always a great way to meet people if you're alone. Try and do activities maybe that like are booked through the hostel because I feel like sometimes you'll then you'll meet more people that are like staying there. Well, and then basically there's a lot of questions about one thing. Oh, surprise, cat! No. <laughs> <laughs> are we getting married? Or when are we getting married? Well, I guess when we're sure that's a good idea. So we just. Oh, that's a good answer. Yeah, learning lots yeah. about each other, doing cool stuff, enjoying yeah. ourselves. That's and it. also, I will say that in New Zealand, marriage isn't as big of a deal than other places. There's a lot of people that are together for a long time, have kids together, stay together forever, but they never get married. That's very normal here. Because the Prime Minister, she's not even married, is she? No, she's not, she's not married, she's got a kid. Yeah. The Prime Minister is over, a yeah. woman exactly. who just had a baby and she's not married. But she's been with the, her partner for a long time, so... Yeah. Alright, well... That I'll was an anticlimactic yeah. ending, I guess. We're not getting married tomorrow. Thanks for doing this video. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you guys for watching and yeah. stay tuned for more travel videos. Yeah, you made it to the end as well. You, wow. You get it for Joe next time you come to New Zealand. You do. Yeah, subscribe if you're not subscribed. See you guys next time. Bye. We're in a relationship. Since when? <laughs> Do I spit on your face? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Am I a bad influence? You're a terrible influence. <laughs> I feel like you met a all the single ladies. <laughs> oh, we gotta get a good thumbnail. Oh.